Greetings everyone. It is September the 10th, 2023, and this is the second half of my garden tour. So on this side over here, I um, soiled them up. I put extra soil on the top. These didn't need it. You know, this is my peach, my nectarine, my other blueberry that I got. Some okra. And the okra right here is wrapped in with the strawberries. Y'all. I mean, not the strawberries, the tomatoes. Y'all, the tomatoes are just doing, they just, mm. Wonderful. Blooms everywhere. Tomatoes everywhere. Green and red ones. And all of these that were dying back started growing back in just like the other side. I topped the dirt off on these over here too. It's important to top your dirt off. pepper look at this tomatoes just still creating nice clusters everywhere oh we missed the morning glories they've closed up some okra i need to pick Some more tomatoes, tomatillas. Some more of the okra plants. And you all look at this. I put my melons in in June and they are going ham. They are everywhere. And there are actually melons on them. Had to kill that bug, don't know what it is. Look, the jalapenos, and we came and picked a bunch of jalapenos a couple of days ago. Look at this, y'all. Look at the peppers. Just peppers everywhere. These are my jalapenos. And as you can see, then your containers. Y'all just pay attention to the containers that I have them in. And you'll see what you'll be able to grow in containers. Look. That's a melon. So the tomatoes are still growing in. The cucumbers are still growing in. The melons are growing through the cucumbers and the tomatoes. But it's cool. Here's another pepper here. All the, the peppers are producing. Top these off. Look at the tomatoes. Just producing. tomatoes we came and picked some a couple of days ago but man as fast as we pick them they're they're growing clusters everywhere still tomatoes green ones red ones over here and flowers and I miss some of the flowers on the other end I'll show them when I go back I'll probably end the video with them Topped everything off. This is a tomato. All the tomatoes in this area have all vined together in the middle. That was the reason why I put the hoops in there in June. Because I knew they would do that. And my peppers that were over, that was here, here, and there, I moved it to the other side. And if you saw part one of the garden tour, then you already saw them. Look at my flowers. 
so beautiful. This is actually my first year growing flowers. Now I've been gardening since 2011. So I'm no gardening spring chicken. Look at the block of nine tomato plot. Just clusters and tomatoes everywhere. I, I just can't say enough how proud I am that the garden is doing so well. This time last year, almost everything had died off and I just didn't even think about doing a fall garden. As a matter of fact, my first fall garden will be this year. All the tomatoes that were dying back in here, if you go back and look at some of the other videos I talked about it, they're all producing tomatoes still. So nothing died. Everything died back, but nothing died. I use just a few things on my plants. I use my own compost tea that I make. I use fish fertilizer. I mix it with my compost tea. And I'll use either Job's Organics or Espoma Organics. Granular fertilizers. Other than that, I don't use anything else. I don't use bone meal and blood meal and all those. I don't, I don't use any of those because at the end of the day, all of that stuff um, is expensive to buy. So we're gonna have to figure out a way how to garden without all that stuff. And with the way that the economy is, we'll never know when we'll be able to afford something or not be able to afford something. So I keep it simple. Flowers. All right, everyone. That's the second half of the garden tour. Everything's looking wonderful. All right, my friends, thanks for stopping by.